Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us here today. We'll be listening to the Managing Director of Battery Minerals, Mr. Peter Durden, uh, to discuss the announcement that came out earlier this week from the company about the acquisition interest in an emerging graphite producer. I'm going to hand it over to Peter here to discuss this, what it means for shareholders, and we might have a few questions at the end of this discussion. So, Peter, good morning, and over to you. Morning, Pete. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, no, a, a major event for the company. You know, the, this deal's been um, been finalising for 18 months. Um, we've been working through, um, you know, the requirements, government requirements, um, to get the transfer of ownership uh, done correctly. Um, and um, it's brought the companies very close together um, over that period. But uh, we're excited now to be able to you know, pivot to the next uh, value driver, um, uh, which uh, is some gold gold opportunities that I'll talk to in uh, Western Victoria there, which we think there's big upside. Uh, and also the other the other value driver for us now clearly is off the back of um, uh, helping and, and watching Tirupati develop these world-class graphite uh, ore bodies in, in Mozambique. But um, yeah, stepping through the announcement, uh, details. Um, it was mostly a script deal, uh, which we were very happy with because we we see great upside in Tirupati. One of the advantages to us is this this deal enables us to participate in the development of the, of the projects, uh, but also um, leverage into their overall story. They're they're a company which is hitting their straps. They've just hit uh, recently thirty thousand tons uh, production capacity on two graphite mines uh, in Madagascar. Uh, they've got a deep, uh, long history and deep industry connections with graphite mining processing, 40 years, mostly as a private company. Uh, they listed a couple of years ago in London. Uh, we really like the way they work. Um, they're in the lowest quartile producer. Um, and so, we're, yeah, we're very, very comfortable with where those assets have ended up. Um, we think, uh, uh, it'll, it, you know, we're, we're watching with interest and we'll assist where we can. Uh, but essentially, this provides us now with an opportunity to, um, uh, you know, to have have a, a unique unique scenario for a junior explorer where we've got a a a, a great uh, a great company investment which we think is going to appreciate uh, quickly, and uh, we've been able to line up some what we consider high value uh, gold exploration opportunities, which we'll now we'll now focus on in the short term. So I'll just to ask a question there on the on the uh, Tirupati. Apparently, um, recently achieved thirty thousand tons per annum. What's the time frame to expand that to its eighty four thousand and then potentially four hundred thousand by twenty thirty? Is that that plan uh, underway, and will they be funded for that kind of growth? Yeah, well, those those numbers are independent of the acquisition of. Of batteries and Mozambique assets, so uh, you know they'll they are coarse flake graphite um, resources there in Madagascar as well. So it gets used in multiple applications. Still high value material, um, but the Montepuez and Balama Central assets that they now control in uh, Mozambique are, are good quality battery grade uh, fine flake uh, graphite resources. You know, ideal for um, you know the lithium iron uh, technology and decarbonisation thematic. Um, so you know they now have the best of both worlds. They're playing in all sorts of um, um, you know aspects of the graphite um, industry, uh, selling to different companies. But, um, uh, yeah, they you know they'll they'll make their decisions going forward. But they're starting to hit um, you know their goals in terms of uh, their production goals. Uh, they've achieved. Uh, over 50% um, um, margins uh, during their startup at periods. They've had issues, which is not uncommon during the startup of mines, um, of course, but uh, the way they reacted to those um, in terms of applying technology, pre-concentrate technology to slurry uh, the graphite, um, you know, from uh, the pit head uh, down to the main uh, processing plant, for example, uh, that's led to uh, long-term savings in terms of their OPEX going forward. So there's no doubt they'll be one of the lower cost operators out there. Um, and, uh, you know, they've got multi-jurisdictions now. They've got world access to world-class graphite resources. They'll leverage their relationships well. 
Um, it'll be interesting to see how quickly now they can push, uh, you know, those advanced um, assets, especially Montepuez, which um, had had received a fair degree of construction uh, costs um, at the time of, of acquisition as well. And Pete, a great free carry um, for battery minerals shareholders. Um, how's the share price of Turapati Graphite on the London Stock Exchange travelling and what does that mean to battery minerals shareholders today? Yeah, good question, Pete. So, you know, since we did the deal a couple of days ago, for example, you know, they, they appear to be um, going through a re-rating. Uh, they've been, you know, the protracted nature of completing the deal um, was, you know, was challenging at times to work through that. Um, but they appear to be going through a re-rating. You know, our equity now, for example, is worth um, over $2 million more. Um, it's more like... Um, uh, it's more like eight million Aussie um, there now, and a fair chunk of that's non-escrowed. But you know, we we'll be sitting tight. Um, you know, we like their story. You know, the whole the value of doing this deal was to um, leverage uh, the ability and uh, and the uh, yeah the clear ability of uh, Tirupati to push those assets forward. They they are a natural owner of these assets, and uh, we believe they'll do a great job. Well, Pete, for, for shareholders, it, it's great to be in a company which is um, has several projects underway. And while that's a great backstop and a great value add, um, I know you're excited about Stall and what you uh, think you can develop there. So let's talk about what's happening at Fox's Find. Yeah, sure thing. So yeah, whilst um, we weren't able to uh, push as aggressively as we might like on the expiration front, um, it did come with its silver lining in that we were able to carefully uh, work up some gold targets on that stably store project of ours in Western Victoria. Um, one of the uh, key areas um, that uh, we've been working up and in increasing our knowledge of uh, was the Cox's Fine District, uh, and we're calling it the White Rabbit District as well. There's a series of targets in that area which appear to have um, a distinct uh, style of gold mineralisation, very much um, different from most of what you would expect to find in Victoria in terms of orogenic gold systems. Uh, the style of mineralisation at Cox's Find and a couple of other targets in that area uh, is associated with disseminated sulphides, um, very rich gold grades um, documented in the past and repeated by the work that we've done. Um, disseminated sulphides. We've got the right alteration there. Um, in the past as well, been documented as being uh, possible alluvial gold, uh, which you get a lot of in Victoria, in Victoria of course. Uh, doesn't have the economic implications, um, of course, as primary gold. So we're convinced this style of mineralisation is primary gold. Um, that's been a big change in our knowledge. And hence, we see this as a very compelling um, high quality discovery opportunity of gold you know high grades just associated with disseminated sulfides so a bulk uh, high tonnage but also high grade uh, discovery opportunity and given the knowledge of the sulfide association we then uh, had confidence to apply geophysical techniques which are designed to map out disseminated sulfides and so, and, sorry, Pete. So, what's the what's the plan here for shareholders um, uh, for the, for your uh, exploration and, and further drilling program? Yeah, we're going to drill this target here, for example. So, you know, disseminated sulfides at surface, very strong gold grades. Uh, we're looking for a strong, discrete, chargeable anomaly um, somewhere beneath that zone, and that's what we've got. We need to do a bit more of this geophysics. This seems to be working really well in terms of defining drill targets. As you can see there, we've also got supportive surface geochem and shallow drilling geochem over the top of it, further adding weight to, um, to that anomaly uh, subsurface, which isn't very deep either. We're not, we're not talking about deep, um, you know, risky, uh, deep uh, drill holes here, you know, that's sort of 100 metres deep. And the fact that you're seeing it in the shallow uh, air core at the bottom of that, those air core holes, uh, I think suggests that we're not, we're not shooting deep for these targets. Uh, so we'll drill those as soon as we can. Um, we've, you know, we've, we've got contractors lined up. We had, to, we had to complete the Mozambique deal before we could get, um, you know, spend too much on this because we had holding costs in Mozambique. We had to be realistic and careful about our cash flows there. 
but Tirupati now um, run with those costs, uh, obviously the Mozambique with Sunni resources, and we're able to um, focus our efforts and, uh, and energy and, and funding into testing these sorts of opportunities. Well, I'll be looking forward to the, the, the site visit out there, um, Peter, pretty soon. Um, so your, your plan, you'll be, you've got a, a funding plan and a project to, um, to drill and explore here over the next few months. And I guess we'll have uh, plenty of news flow for shareholders. Absolutely, Pete. Yeah, we've lined these up now. They're at the pointy end of the discovery process. Um, you know, we're ready to drill these multiple, multiple uh, sources of uh, of evidence suggesting we're on the right track but the key thing is it's a different style of, of uh, gold mineralization it's disseminated sulfides high grade um so you know between the geophysics and the drilling we could we could be on the verge of discovering something um you know pretty significant there we'll watch tirupati our investment in them with interest but uh they seem to be doing well in the last couple of days so a pretty unique proposition for a junior explorer underpinned by a significant company investment in uh, in Tirupati Graphite. And, and you're certainly in Eltham country around the Fossilville stall region. There's uh, plenty of um, strong evidence that you, you're in the right place to be doing that exploration. So we'll look forward to all of that over the coming weeks and months. Um, I'd like to thank you for your time this morning and thanks for everybody else who joined us. We'll have a recorded version of this available as well. And if any of the uh, audience has some other questions for Peter, please send them in to peter at nwrcommunications.com.au. Thanks again, Peter. Likewise, Pete. Good to be with you.